Hi there, church family. We want to take a moment as part of our service this week to acknowledge and pray for all of those who have recently got exam results. That could be from college, that could be those still waiting for results, that could be those who got GCSE results this last Thursday, or those that got A-level results and then perhaps have had them changed as well just over a week ago. If there's someone in your family in that situation and they're not currently in the room, why don't you pause the video and go and grab them? We'd love them to be part of this. Now, we want to say that we acknowledge that this year has been different and difficult. It's had its stresses, particularly those getting A-level results and having them changed. It has been stressful, even traumatic for some of you. And young people, we want you to know that we're proud of you and that we are cheering you on. I want to share a verse with you that I hope encourages you. I want to lead you in prayer and invite our church family to be praying for all of our young people who've got exam results recently. The verse I want to share is Proverbs chapter 3 and verses 5 and 6. And it says this, Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways submit to him and he will make your paths straight. Over the last few weeks and months, many of you have felt stressed, holding on, not knowing what the, what the, what the future is going to be. I want to encourage you, having got your results, whether you're pleased with them, whether you're disappointed with them, to open up your hand and to express your trust in God. This verse says, trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, submit to him, acknowledge him, and he will make your paths straight. As a sign of that, I'm going to lead you in a short prayer. I want to encourage you to have your fists cleansed, and as I invite you to, to open it up as a sign of trusting and laying before God the plans and hopes and fears that you have about the next stage in your life, in your education, in the courses you might be doing, in the job you might be hoping for, in the gap year you might be entering into, in the apprenticeship you might be hoping for. So, those who've got exam results, can you clench your fists with me? And let's pray. And Lord, we bring to you the stress, the frustration, the disappointment and the joy that this year has brought, all the mixture of emotions and we open up our hands now as a sign that we trust you and we trust the next bit of our lives to you. Thank you that when we do that, we can know that you're the one that directs our paths. And we pray, Lord, for every young person, please open up the right opportunities for the next phase in their lives. Please, Lord. We trust you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. And this next bit is for everyone. Uh, maybe there's a young person who's got exam results in your house. For many of you, there won't be. I want you to picture uh, maybe one young person who you know who's got results. Maybe you know many of them. I want you to picture them as together we pray for them. You might want to follow this up by sending them a message of encouragement as well. But as a church, as we would do if we're here in person, let's pray for those who have got exam results recently. And Father God, together as church family, we pray your blessing on all of our young people who've just got results. We pray would you encourage them. We thank you for your love for them. We thank you that you affirm who they are, not because of what they've done or achieved, but because they're your children, precious to you. And we pray you bless them. And we pray that you would direct their paths. You'd open up the right opportunities for them. For this next phase of their life and lord we pray that you would encourage them in their faith in you jesus and so as a church family we bless our young people together and all together join in with me at home as we say amen amen great to pray for our young people today i've been trying to get in touch with lots of our young people to find out how you have got on um, if i haven't got through to you yet then do get in touch with me. Parents, feel free to do that as well. We'd love to hear from you and know how we can be praying for you 
for the next phase. Well done. We're proud of you. Enjoy the rest of your summer.